Economists say the labor market will keep inflation high as companies increase wages to attract workers. Texas is the nation's leading producer of oil, but like many industries, the pandemic is causing major stress on the industry. News Nation reporter Marky Martin has more on oil's recent ups and downs. This may not be a one horse town. When you think of oil and gas in Texas, you definitely think of Midland and Odessa. Regardless of what your job is, if you're in West Texas, you're in the oil business. Renee Earls leads the Odessa Chamber of Commerce. I was sitting right there in that chamber boardroom when it came across that oil was basically worth nothing, you know, below zero. And while we've seen things get tough, we've never seen that. It was April of 2020. The pandemic had just taken hold. And oil demand dropped to almost zero. Nobody was flying, so airlines parked planes. Nobody was driving to work, so gas stations sat still. The world virtually stopped using oil, and the bottom fell out of the market. I always have up and downs in our oil and gas industry, but last year we got hit with a double whammy. Kirk Edwards says in the spring, prices dropped below $37 a barrel. The number of active drilling rigs in West Texas fell from 600 to 150, costing this area alone some 40,000 jobs. 2019, we had the lowest unemployment rate in the state of Texas. After the pandemic hit, Odessa had the highest unemployment rate in the states. This is Grand Central for our well servicing group. Carter Robinson is CEO of American Energy Management. He says the biggest problem with the crash was that no one saw it coming. I don't know that we ever will see that again. I mean, that's that was unprecedented. Revenue for his business was down 80 to 90 percent. It was a gut check moment of are we going to survive this? What are we looking at going going forward? And many companies here didn't. But in the past year, oil prices have nearly doubled and are now hovering near $80 a barrel. I would say there's signs of life here in West Texas for sure. And they're positive signs, and that's the things we have to have to keep this industry going ahead. That was Marky Martin reporting. The cost of a barrel of oil hit $84 earlier this week. Experts say the industry has rebounded back to around 60 to 70% of where it was pre-COVID.